Hello, everyone. My name is Lucas Ponce. I'm a software engineer at Red Hat. I'm, uh, one, I'm one of the developers of the Kiali project. So in this session, we are going to demo how to use the Istio service mesh uh, from a visual perspective using Kiali. So uh, service mesh provides uh, rich features to add advanced traffic routing, to add advanced security and, and authorization control for your traffic, and also increasing the observability, adding new signals like telemetry and tracing in your on top of your Kubernetes cluster. So uh, what is Kiali? Kiali is a management console for Istio based service mesh with the goal to simplify the use of, of all of these low levels. So it's going to tell you what, uh, which microservices are part of my service mesh, how are they connected, how are they working, and also it's going to help me to operate on the service mesh, to simplify, to generate and modify all the configuration that I need to create high level scenario for traffic routing, for security also, <coughs> and for visualization. Okay, so uh, in this in this demo, all the, the workshop steps, all the workshop resources that we are going to use are fully documented at kiali.io under the tutorial section. Okay, so let me uh, uh, describe the application that we are going to use for, for this demo. So we are going to use the Travels demo application, which uh, basically simulates uh, travel shops that are talking with a travel agency. So the travel shops are going to generate or simulate user requests for a travel agency asking for available destinations. And with uh, one destination, a user may select one city and is going to ask to the travel agency to generate a, a, a travel, to get the quotation for flights, cars, hotels for, for a travel, right? So the interesting thing of this um, demo app is that I can cast, uh, personalize all these user requests. So I can create completely different type of, uh, of traffic load based per, per, per city, based per user type, or just per, per travel type. If one travels may involve flights, other travel could be only by car, all travels may need some insurance discount, et cetera, right? I have also uh, uh, another namespace in this travel demo application, which is going to provide a user interface to <clears throat> give me visibility of all of these travel requests per city, uh, what, uh, which, what type of travel is, is more purchased, and also to, will let me to modify the, the simulator. So I can, for one travel shop from one country, I can add, uh, increase the rate, the, the request ratio. I can uh, change the, the type of the device that you use or the type of the, of the type. So that is going to create a more rich demo scenario that will let me to showcase better all the, the Istio capabilities. Okay, in this demo, we uh, divide uh, the steps in a scenario. So we would like to showcase most of the typical situation that when some user starts using a service mesh, starts using Istio, is going to find. For example, the first step will be how to migrate or how to see uh, when I have some namespace uh, connected or deploy into the mesh, but other namespaces are not yet connected into the mesh. Right, so we are going to show how to Kiali can help on that scenario. Another typical uh, step <clears throat> in the using of the Istio uh, service mesh is exposing services through ingress using gateways. Right. Also, we are going to show all the capabilities of, of observability. Right. We are going to show how to build graph with one or many namespace uh, to see what is happening, how my services are communicating. And not also we are going to stop that. So we are going to create uh, scenarios for traffic shifting on HTTP or TCP traffic. We are going also to simulate errors to test the resilience of my systems from very simple way, just adding delays, but also we can also increase and add uh, uh, resilient techniques like uh, circuit breakers, just adding request time out for some specific routing. And we are going to finish the demo showing how, how Kiali can help me to generate authorization traffic uh, policies 
for existing traffic, right? So how I can use uh, Kiali to, to simplify the management of the, the authorization policies within Istio. Okay, so let's start with the first scenario. So uh, imagine that I'm starting to use uh, deploy uh, application namespace into my mess. So a typical situation is that I'm going to have namespace that are in the mess and other namespaces that are talking with this other application but are not yet in my mess. How I can show that, right? So this is my Kiali. Uh, this is the overview page where I can see the travel INC, travel portal, travel control. I can filter this namespace. And I can see that uh, I have uh, three namespace deployed in my application. But um, how to see which applications have um, uh, are in the mess or are not? So the way to see that is using the, uh, the Wallos view or the application view and checking the sidecars. So I can, uh, when I deploy a sidecar into a wallos is when uh, I connect a wallos into the mess, right? So uh, this is something that I can check in Kiali. I can select in the wallos or the application view. I can check uh, all the namespace that I'm migrating. And I can see that for the travel INC, uh, the travel uh, portal, all these wallos are already uh, included, deployed into the mess. So they have sidecar, but not the travel control. Right, the target control has a, a missing cycle. So I can also click into the application and it will tell me that I don't detect the Istio container, right? So uh, what is the next step? What I'm going to, to show you is how I can uh, deploy this uh, namespace travel control into the mess. There are several ways to do that. I can do this manually. Just with the Istio CTL command, I can manually inject the sidecar in my deployment, but typically, Another way to do that is to uh, annotate in the, the namespace. I can add the enable auto injection annotation from the overview page. I can click into the, the, the full list view. I can see that now the travel control has the EAST annotation, uh, uh, EAST injection label enabled, and I can see into the word loss. That annotation means that every time that I deploy a new warlock into this namespace, Istio is going to add the sidecar. As this warlock was deployed before this annotation, I can also go to this warlock and enable auto annotation to create the annotation of the Istio inject uh, manually. So what is going to do right now is, is going to redeploy the, this, this spot. And now I can see how the sidecar is deployed onto this warlock. So I can see the container here, right? I can see that it is not showing any warning about that. And I can also show that the point details, the low level details of the, the sidecar that is perfectly working, right? Okay, so that was our first scenario. Our second scenario is now that I have um, applications deployed into the mess, Next typical step is to expose it to offset my cluster using the ingress and using the Istio gateway, right? How I can do that using Kiali. So uh, remember in this demo application, I have a service, the travel control that expose a user interface. What I want to do is to uh, expose the services to the ingress. How to do that? I can go to the service details. I can go to the actions, to the request routines, and I can generate a very simple generic rule for this. I can add just a rule to say, okay, any request to this service is going to uh, is going to be route to the control workload, but I can add an advanced option to add the, this service to the gateway. So. I can add it to a gateway. I can select an existing gateway, or I can create a new one. In this gateway, I'm going to um, uh, in the uh, to, to 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 write the DNS, the public DNS where this service will be uh, exposed. Right. In this case, it's control dash control .cluster Okay. So this is going to generate all the configuration required, a virtual service, a destination rule, a gateway connected to all of them. And now if I 
access to the UI, I can say I can see that this now this this UI is exposed to outside uh, traffic, you know, with using the, the, the this cluster. So, as I commented in in this UI, can tell me okay uh, what the travel shops are requesting to the travel agency per city per per type, and I can also change the, the request ratio of this uh, of these tools. I can modify the setting of my simulators to create more heterogeneous traffic and to create a, a more elaborated demo scenario. Okay, so next one. So the next scenario that we want to show is now that we have this namespace connected or deployed into the mess, I'm going to start to receive additional information like additional telemetry about what the, the traffic is doing additional uh, tracing signals from the sidecars as well. And I'm going to show you how I can use Kiali to build a graph from one to many namespace. And I can see the details of security, the request rate, the distribution rate, response time, with the goal to help me to identify critical paths. And when I identify some world that it looks look like some critical, it may have something to test. So we are going to show details and try to correlate more information to understand what this world is doing, right? So let's do that in, in Kiali. So how to start? Typically, we will start with them in the overview, right? In the overview, I see all the namespace that I have in my cluster, deploy or not into the mess. And uh, as I commented, I expose the travel control namespace. Now I start to see telemetry and I'm going to show the graph for this namespace, right? One of the, uh, in this graph, I can see that traffic is, is coming from the East Ingress Gateway as expected, you know, it's, it's calling the control service uh, to the control workload. And as I described, this control workload is talking with the travel shop, right, to collect information. So uh, one interesting feature is that I can build a graph from one to many namespace. So I see that this travel control is talking to the travel portal namespace, so I can add it into my graph. And I can see that, okay, the travel control is talking to the, the travel portal. In the travel portal, I have three shops that are talking with the travel agency. I can also select the travel agency into the graph view, and I can build a rich graph of all of the elements that are talking into my, into my graph, right? So it's quite interesting. So uh, let me to show several options that I can visualize in the graph. To me, the first interesting, the first one, the most interesting one is the security. So one of the benefits or one of the first reasons that I'm going to deploy my application into a service mess is to automatically have secure all the communication. So I can display the security option here and I can confirm that all the traffic that is uh, flowing into the mess are using mutual TLS for communicating. So it's all secure about that. So the next interesting option that I recommend to use is the traffic animation. The traffic animation is a, a, a visual helper to show uh, the, the request rate. So it's building, this animation is built based of the, of the rate information that I collect and I can identify, uh, for example, uh, some difference. So I can see that in this, in this edge, this traffic rate, I have more traffic in the hotel's workload compared with others, apparently, right? So also what I can show is the, I can show the information, the, I can show the numbers of this request rate. I can also try to identify the distribution, right? And also the response time of all my edges, right? So another interesting option that I would like to include is how to identify critical paths. So I can query the graph to highlight uh, edges and communication with some expression and condition, right? In this case, I would like to, to highlight which all the edges that have more than 50% of the traffic, right? And to see that, okay, uh, I can find that the travels communication with the hotels is higher than, than the, the, the travels communication with others. Also, another examples of queries that I can do is I can query not only TCP traffic, but I can query TCP traffic. That this could be interesting, for example, to get information about how my travel agency workloads are communicating with the database. And I can increase the change the query, for example, to see, and I can confirm that, okay, the hotels have some big queries compared with uh, to the database compared with others, right? I can also zoom in into the travels um, 
Intruder Travel Service. I can zoom in into the travel workload to see the, the details. I can, for example, to show um, uh, more details into the inbound metrics. I can see, I can find that in the inbound metrics, what is incoming from the portals, and I can see that, okay, especially the hotels is showing a lot of information. Let's show more interesting features, right? So, oops. Okay, so let me do hide a hidden notes. I know what they come in. Okay, so let me go. The, the hotels has identified that it may have some interesting information to show. Another feature that I have is that I can click in the hotels at a particular application. I can show the trace that this application is collecting and I can overlap. I can correlate the tracing information with the telemetry information in my graph. So this particular tra trace is coming from a portal, is calling the travel, so it's traveling into the insurance, cancer and hotels, and, and also uh, talking with the discounts and also with the database, right? So I can get more this information. So I can correlate this information also from the charts. I can put in the charts, so uh, the same telemetry information with the tracing with the goal to tell me, okay, all these traces are good or are bad. How I can say, okay, this is a slow for my environment. So this is what we try to do from Kiali. We try to correlate this tracing information with uh, heat mass, with other telemetry signal, just to tell you that, for example, this tracing are more or less green, that are not as slow as expected, but I have some slow traces that probably can get more my attention. So I can get to the, the, the span details and I can see, okay, this particular span from this trace could be slow and could be interesting to see more details into the jagged UI. So when I can just to browse for all the details of this span and try to understand uh, what could be the, the button with, uh, with method is, is taking more time than unexpected, right? Okay, so uh, then let's show a couple of more scenarios. So uh, for this demo, so one typical scenario for using service mesh is also to do advanced traffic routing. So in this case, imagine that uh, my developers uh, are recommending to create new versions for the travel service in the travel agency and the database that they want to check if these new versions are performing better than, than others. So let's, let me show me to how to do that. So I'm going to connect to my console. Okay, I'm going to deploy the Travers version two, version three. I'm going to deploy the MySQL. Okay, so uh, if I go back to the overview, I expect that uh, in the travel agency, I will have more workloads. So I can filter the workloads by travel and MySQL. Okay, so they are deploying, right? Um, now, what I would like to do is to go to the travel service that I have now the visibility of the three travels uh, workloads. And I would like to uh, to create a traffic shifting scenario. For example, I would like to keep the 50% of the traffic for the travels version one, and I want to test version two and version three, just <clears throat> sending 25% of the traffic to these two workloads. So I want to create that. And I would like to do that for the database as well. So I go to the database. This is database is fully TCP. I'm going to create a TCP traffic shifting scenario. In the same way, I'm going to show 50% here, um, but 25% to this other scenario. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, we are going to, to see how in, if I click into the travels, one second into the Travers application and I display the request distribution. I expect, no, sorry. Okay, I wanted to zoom into the 
into the version up graph. And I want to zoom into Okay, I don't know why I'm showing this middle notes. Okay, I wanted to zoom into the tables up and I, okay, this is what I wanted to show. Okay, so now I see that I'm sending, uh, I have a virtual service defined in the travels and I'm sending most of the traffic to the version one, right? Okay, so uh, a couple of last, uh, scenario before that that we end this uh, this quick demo so we are going to introduce a full injection scenario so we have identified that the hotels is is having a lot of traffic compared with others so if istio service means allows me to uh, to test the resilience of my system introducing errors right so it's something that we can create what we call a full injection scenario so I can do that, uh, go into the hotel service. I can click the actions to create a full injection scenario. I can add an standard, uh, an standard delay. And Kiali is going to generate the virtual services initial service for this, uh, for this service, introducing this, this form. So this information is going to, uh, to be propagated to the sidecar and, and is going to introduce error for, for this service. So, now, if I go to the to the graph and I display the response time, now with this error uh, scenario, I expect that at some point I may see. Let me see if I start to see some response times. Okay, so now I see updated the telemetry that is sending this. Okay, so now I can query and I can ask, okay, what, how is the impact of a slow workload in my, in my workloads, in my, in my graph, right? So let me to show that with all the workloads on my system. And this query can tell me, okay, how the impact of an error is, is slowing all the, the, the the traffic into this system right so this is one scenario we wanted to show right how to query that also um let me to query with more details in the hotel service i can go to the inbound metrics i am um, try to show local version by destination and i can see in the inbound metrics that uh you know, an average, I'm introducing five seconds delay for this service, but with peaks to two times the, the, the five seconds up to, 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 10, to 10 seconds of delay. And I can show that into the graph, how the impact of a, of a slow workload can affect to my, my whole graph, okay? Okay, so let me to, uh, to finish my my demo with a security uh, scenario uh, so now that i have all my communication right so i'm going to show you how i can tell kiali that okay now uh, i want to create additional traffic policies for the travel inc world so i can go to the namespace go to the actions create the traffic policies so is still i'm going to generate kiali is going to generate um more restrictive authorization policy for the workload. So only the existing traffic at that moment are going to be allowed to communicate with the workload. For example, I'm going to create a deny all authorization policy uh, a rule for all this namespace. Um, I'm going to allow to create a specific authorization policies for all the workloads. So now I want to show this a scenario. So it's the communication is secure, but I want to deploy a new uh, a new workload to show that this new workload is not authorized to talk with the travel INC. Okay, so I think that I have now in the travel portal a new workload 
calls load balancer. Not yet. Okay, load tester, sorry. And now I expect that this uh, new workload it should start showing telemetry. Okay, it's not yet working. I guess it's starting to. Okay, now it is. So let me to to zoom in to this to the tables I am see. Okay, so this is what we wanted to show. What we did. So we create authorization policies for assisting traffic. So all the previous workloads were working correctly. But now we deploy a new load tester uh, workload that has not the rights to access to the table INC. So I will see how the Istio issue show that, okay, all the communication is not permitted, is forbidden, and is just re denying the request to, to this, right? Okay, so uh, yeah, this is this was a very quick um, uh, introduction to how to use uh, Istio with Kiali. Yes, uh, remember a very long uh, version of this tutorial with more use cases to how to use Kiali to visualize and operate Istio is available under Kiali.io under the tutorial section. And uh, thank you for watching. So we are at Kiali Project in Twitter, uh, Kiali Room in Eastwick Light or Free Now. So any question, please uh, let us know. Thank you very much.